Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of the Fridge Coaster giveaway from my Fridge February video. And I'm also gonna show you guys a simple technique that I use to organize the inside of my deep freezer. A couple of you guys were asking for freezer organization tips, so I figured this would be a great video to show it in. So without further ado, the winner of the Fridge Coasters is Janelle T. Congrats, I've been in contact with her, so she will be receiving her prize. And Ashlyn from Fridge Coaster sent me an email saying that she wanted to offer, for those of you who did not win the giveaway, 10% off your order. So it was very out of the blue and super nice of her and her husband. So you can type in the code DIOAD10 at FridgeCoaster.com at checkout, which is obviously do it on a dime 10 if you guys want to get your own set of Fridge Coasters. So if it interests you, I hope you take advantage of that offer. Okay, so it's deep freezer time. I want to show you guys a really quick technique I use to organize my deep freezer and kind of the rationale behind it. So here we go. We keep our deep freezer in the laundry room. And if you don't own a deep freezer or you're kind of on the fence about getting one, I'll put the info to mine in the description if you're interested because we love ours. But this is seriously great if you're like me and buy produce in bulk, meat in bulk, or breads in bulk, because that way you can keep it for a long period of time and get the best price possible. And here's how I organize it so nothing gets lost or expires. These little crates actually came with the freezer, and in this one I just line up all of our cheeses as well as extra lunch meats. These things freeze amazing. Over in this bin, I keep meats that we're going to be using that week so we don't have to go digging around down here, which I'll show you in a minute. The key to my fridge organization or my freezer organization is actually these bags. I've seen in other organizing videos as well as ideas online for how to organize that you can get those giant crates, but those tend to crack in deep freezers. For me, it wasn't economically feasible because I didn't want to spend more on the bins to organize the freezer than I actually did on the freezer. <laughs> so here is what works for us amazingly. These are just those reusable bags. You can find these at Target or your local grocery store. They don't crack, break, or change shape in the freezer. And this is how we organize it. So this light one is for poultry and we just freeze a bunch of chicken in here. So when organic chicken goes on sale, I can stock up. The bag below it is also for meats. And in here we keep um, all sorts of beef and any type of um, steak or anything like that. So they're really easy to get in and out. That way nothing gets shoved to the bottom of the fridge and we can't find it. This bag here is black. And in it we keep bread products. Bagels and stuff freeze amazingly. So when these go on sale, buy one, get one, or I have a coupon, I totally stock up on them. Hot dog buns, any sort of bread you could imagine. And last but not least, over here on this ledge is where I keep freezer meals. Now, as I said, our fridge is pretty empty right now, but when I go through, you guys know from my um, freezer meal video, which I will link below, we are really big into cooking in bulk and then freezing later. So on this ledge is where I typically keep those. Normally they're in a file system, so they're all standing up like this, but because I have so few things in here right now, I just kind of set them on the ledge. So that is the organization of our deep freezer, and I hope that it was helpful to you while it was very simple.